Copyright is confusing for most teachers. It's incredibly easy to find materials online and bring them into iMovie, but that doesn't mean it's the right thing to do. It's important that students learn to use digital materials with permission. The current copyright code is complex and intentionally vague. However, most educators are familiar with the concept of fair use. Our students can use copyrighted materials in iMovie projects, but the materials have to meet the criteria outlined in section 107 of the copyright code. To be considered are the purpose and character of the use. Is it used in, for educational purposes? the nature of the copyrighted work, the amount of the work being used, and the effect upon the potential market or the, for the value of the copyrighted work. However, often overlooked in the discussion of fair use is the importance of transformativeness. That means it's okay for students to use copyright material as long as they repurpose the material and build it into something new. By doing so, they add value to the copyrighted work. You can learn more about the concept of transformativeness by watching the music video that's linked below. And for a deeper discussion of these concepts and a great practical guide, see the Code of Best Practices and Fair Use for Media Literacy Education from Temple University. In my practice, I've come to rely on using copyright-friendly material licensed through Creative Commons. Creative Commons, represented by a double C in a circle, is a self-licensing association. Artists, musicians, and writers have balked at the overly restrictive copyright law and instead issued their own license and decide how they want their creative works to be used. There are different levels of CC licenses. Some only ask for attribution, but some ask for attribution and forbid commercial use. The CC license is an easy way for me and my students to recognize and understand that someone has given permission for the use of the creative material. You can learn more about Creative Commons at the Creative Commons site, and you can also make great use of their search tool. which allows you to search through a variety of archives with content that has a Creative Commons license. Here I've searched for an image of the classroom and it's, I've searched through uh, the Flickr archives and the license here that this photographer has given is an attribution only license for Creative Commons. So I'm comfortable knowing that he has shared this photo. You can also use Google Images to search for CC license material, but you have to do it under the advanced search. So here I'm searching again for classroom, and if I click on image and the gear over to the top right, I can make this an advanced search. And once I'm using the advanced search, I can scroll down to the bottom and I can filter by usage rights. So here I can filter for materials that are free to use. And I do have to finish by clicking advanced search. And all of the images that are seen here have come from, um, have come with a Creative Commons license. And I'm comfortable in using these materials in my projects and my students can use them in their projects. You can also find music Got Creative Commons licensed music at sites like Jomendo. And here you can even filter by mood to find appropriate videos, appropriate music for your videos. Mixter is a, another Creative Commons site where you can find music. Most students will find a piece of music here that they enjoy. And YouTube also has a Creative Commons selection where the, uh, the video artists have licensed their material with a CC license. Uh, this is the Internet Archive, which I spoke of before, which is one of my favorite places. Here you can find um, videos that are either in the public domain or else are licensed as Creative Commons materials. Uh, one of my favorites 
is the 1935 movie that explains all about bananas. For your next assignment, you're going to create a photo essay using iMovie. You're going to use images and music from copyright friendly archives that are listed below, and you're going to put together a two to three minute photo essay. And this is the end.